Hi everyone, welcome to MedSketch. The toxin of the day is oxalic acid. For ease, we have named the scene as the sugar factory. Because oxalic acid is also known as acid of sugar. So basically oxalic acid is a caustic crystalline compound with the low water solubility and it resembles magnesium and zinc sulfate. Let's talk about the category of oxalic acid. So on the top left, you can see a warning sign that says corrosive. So oxalic acid belongs to the category of corrosives. Let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of oxalic acid poisoning. So you can see in the center of scene, there is a burner. The burner is having a temperature gauge and a timer. The temperature gauge says 15 to 20 and the timer says 1. So the fatal dose of oxalic acid is 15 to 20 mg represented by the temperature gauge and the fatal period is within one hour as represented by one on the timer clock. So let's talk about the mechanism of action or active principle. So on the left side of the scene you can see a board of low calories. So you can see the words low and ca are marked red so that you can remember low ca that represents hypocalcemia so what happens is that oxalic acid combines with the serum calcium and it forms insoluble calcium oxalates resulting in hypocalcemia which can lead to muscle contraction convulsions tetany etc so just remember that oxalic acid leads to hypocalcemia due to the formation of calcium oxalate crystals. So let's talk about the sign and symptoms of oxalic acid poisoning. So the local action of oxalic acid is represented by burning stomach just on the burner. So basically it corrodes the mucous membranes of the alimentary tract but rarely the skin. So you can remember from the burning system that it corrodes the mucous membrane of the GIT system. On the right side of the scene, you can see a boy that is wearing a pink shirt. His stomach is burning and his mouth is also burning. And in front of him, you can see a bloody vomitus. And beside the vomitus, you can see some coffee beans. So the burning mouth and stomach are representing that there is burning in the throat and stomach with persistent vomiting. The vomitus of oxalic acid poisoning is very characteristic and it is known as coffee ground vomitus due to the altered blood. So we have placed coffee beans just beside the bloody vomitus so that you can remember that coffee ground appearance is present in oxalic acid poisoning. On the left side of the burning boy, you can see a boy in the green shirt who is having abnormal movements of his hands and you can see a urine bag is attached to the boy and from the urine bag you can see urine is leaking and the urine is having red and yellow streaks along with some crystals. As we have talked earlier that hypocalcemia is present. So the boy in the green is in the state of tetany that is due to the hypocalcemia and it is indicating numbness, tingling, muscular twitching as he is abnormally flexing his arm, convulsions and spasmodic twitching of face and extremities as well. The urine bag attached to the boy is representing the nephrotoxic action and in the urine you can see yellow and red streaks that are representing albumin in the yellow and blood in the red color and you can also see some crystals that are lying on the ground. They are representing the calcium oxalate crystals which is known as oxaluria. So oligouria and oxaluria are also present along with albumin and blood in the urine. So let's talk about the post-mortem appearance. Many of the findings are similar to the sign and symptoms. They may include a dark brown gelatinous material that was just similar to the coffee ground vomitus. Perforations and mucous membrane corrosion can be present. One of the separate or the distinct feature can be bleaching of the membranes. So on the right side of the scene, you can see white spots that were also used in our previous videos. So the mucous membranes are white as bleach. In the background, you can see some pipes, silver pipes that are representing blood vessels. So blood vessels are seen distinctively as dark lines due to the formation of acid hematin. So we have made the pipes in a bit darker tone. So you can remember that blood vessels are seen as dark lines due to the formation of acid hematin. 
also you can have some kidney damage as well so the sign and symptoms in post-mortem appearance are a bit synchronous but you have to remember mucous membranes are bleached out coffee ground vomitus or black brown gelatinous material can be present perforations can be present blood vessels are seen as distinctive lines due to the formation of acid hamilton and inflamed kidneys lungs airways can also be present let's talk about the medical legal aspects of oxalic acid poisoning so just beside the whitish bleach spots you can see a bottle of bleach so oxalic acid is usually present in bleaching materials or bleaches so its household use has made it very dangerous and the chances of ingestion are very high also oxalates are present in many vegetables and we have placed a vegetable on the ground that is known as rhubarb. So oxalates occur in the leaves of rhubarb and have caused poisoning when the leaves are used as safe vegetables. So the bleaches can be used for suicidal intention but rarely used for homicidal purposes due to the sour taste of oxalic acid. So let's talk the most important question that is being asked from oxalic acid. So in the middle of scene you can see our doctor. His name is Dr. Christian and he is holding a diary with the letter 30 in his right hand and he is just pointing toward the boy that is having a burning stomach and a burning mouth. So what is it representing so dr christian holding a letter 30 diary and pointing toward the boy that is having a burning stomach is representing christison's saying so the saying is like if a person after swallowing a solution of crystalline salt which tasted strongly acidic immediately suffers from burning sensation in the throat and the stomach and also vomits specially of bloody matter Further, his pulse becomes imperceptible and he dies in 20-30 minutes. I do not know any fallacy which can interfere with the conclusion that the oxalic acid was the cause of death. No disease begins so abruptly nor ends so soon and no other crystalline poison has the same effect. I have read the Christensen saying for you. So just you have to remember that if a person is swallowing a solution of crystalline salt, which is unknown, and he is having symptoms of burning sensation in throat, stomach, and he is also having a bloody vomitus, and he dies in 20 to 30 minutes. So the most probable diagnosis would be oxalic acid poisoning because the death is very relatable and very early. So no other diseases produces a death or no other poisoning produces a death that is so rapid. So for representing the Christensen saying we have placed the doctor in the center of scene and he is pointing toward the boy that is having burning sensation in the stomach and in the mouth and is vomiting and he is having a bloody vomitus. Also the diary of Dr. Christian is having a letter 30. So that represents that the death is occurring in 30 minutes. So you have to remember that Christensen saying sometimes it is asked in your exams. So what about the treatment and management? So basically on the right side of scene you can see our gastric lavage bottle but you can see some lemons are placed on the bottle. So just remember that the gastric lavage is done with lime water. Warm water should not be used in any case. So the antidote for oxalate poisoning is calcium preparations which convert the poison into insoluble oxalate forms. So they may include calcium lactate, calcium gluconate. So calcium tablets are presented on the left side of the bottle. So you may remember that calcium gluconate, calcium lactate can be given as antidote. On the left side of the calcium tablets, you can see some chalks. So chalk is also used as antidote. Suspension of chalk in water or milk will neutralize about 20 grams of oxalic acid if you are taking a suspension of 30 grams of chalk. So you have to remember that chalk can also be used. One more important feature would be that parathyroid extract can be also used in oxalic acid poisoning so it was about the treatment let's revise the treatment you can use the gastric lavage with lime water calcium gluconate calcium lactate chalk can be used and in severe cases parathyroid extract can be given so here was our video of oxalic acid poisoning so just remember the christensen saying so if you don't remember the exact wording you can just remember the sketch so you will be able to write something so if you have any question just drop in the comment section till then take care
For detailed literature of toxins, refer our textbook, Excel Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, available at all major medical bookstores all over Pakistan.